KPM. Assalamualaikum. Hello everybody. How are you guys feeling? I hope you guys are doing great and always stay safe. With that being said, I would like to remind you guys to always always comply to the SOP set by the government by using a, a face mask in the public area, maintaining a physical distance of at least one meter or more. And always wash your hands using water and soap and bring around your hand sanitizer to sanitize your hands when needed. So as you guys know, if I'm talking English here, we will definitely learning English and we do have a very interesting topic for today's episode. So who will be the teacher? So let's see this profile. So everybody, let's welcome teacher Faiza from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besar. How are you, teacher? Thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, for being with us today okay. here at Teras Didik TV KPM. Okay, teacher. But before that, yes. I would like to remind of all of you guys: if you need to take off your mask, if you need to take off your mask, don't forget to keep your mask in a safe case or like me i have this uh, plastic case that i bought randomly bought on on online platform so it will help me to keep my mask clean and safe and you can also put it in your pocket or plastic pocket or a zipper pocket baiklah next we will go ada keluar bahasa melayu pula kan today we be, we will be learning english and i will try my best to speak uh, english throughout the episode so let's uh, try together uh, our students at home and teacher today's yes. uh, topic is very interesting but before that i would mm -hmm. like to uh, call my friends to join uh, me today because okay. i i'm so scared of learning english alone you know my english is all over the place but mm -hmm. i believe my friends here they are very good in english so they shall are. we okay okay yes, let's welcome our friends also from smk bagan terap sungai besar hi everybody how are you guys doing? Oh, everybody's looking great, <laughs> smiling. If you guys are ready, give me double thumbs up. Yay! Okay, so but before that, I would like to uh, introduce our friends. Uh, kindly introduce yourself. I will call your name one by one. So let's start with Zahir. Hi, everyone. Hi. My name is Ahmad Zahir bin Jalaluddin. I am from SMK Barantra. Okay. I'm excited to follow English lesson on Didi TV. Wow, thank you so much. Okay, we will proceed with hmm, Shaza. Uh, Assalamualaikum and good morning Salam. everyone. Uh, my name is Nur Shaza Alia and I can't wait to learn, learn English today. Okay, let's proceed with our friend named Ain. Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. Hi. My name is Kunorani Ain binti Isnidam. I'm from SMK Bagan Trap and I'm excited to learn English today. Yeah, I am so excited too to have you guys with me today. So we will proceed with Nur Anis. Kindly introduce yourself. Hi everyone. My name is Nur Anis Munira binti Abdul Alim. Um, I'm from SMK Bagan Trap and I'm very excited to learn English. Yes, this is what we want. Very yes. energetic, everybody, in the morning. And we will proceed with Haikal Azizi. Kindly introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. Hi. Assalamualaikum. I'm Haikal Azizi Benjamin. I'm from SNK Bagantara. I'm so excited to learn English today. All right. So, uh, last but not least, uh, we would like to... Uh, have Iskanda to introduce yourself. Iskanda. Hello, everybody. Hello. My name is Badu Iskanda bin Mohd Sukumizan, and I'm happy to be here today. Oh, I'm so, everybody's so excited to be here. I am excited to have you guys with me today to help me with today's lesson. Okay, Teacher Faiza, maybe yes. Teacher Faiza can share with us what is the topic today. Okay. 
As you can see, our mm. topic today, okay, uh, today we'll be, uh, we will be covering on reading mm. and we will have another complementary skill which is speaking. Okay. So, it's actually like this. Everybody can read. Okay. Right. Mm -mm. And um, before we go there, Nisa, yes. are you a novel addict? Yes, I read novel all the time. Yeah. I have a lot of novels at home. <laughs> okay. So, as for a novel addict, a novel addict, mm -hmm. sometimes we can spend as long as you want to uh, cover the whole novel, yes. reading from word to word, yes. and then rolling on the bed, mm -hmm. and then daydreaming about what uh, as if we are the characters in the novel, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. So everybody can read. Uh, everybody can read. However, today we will learn how to read with a purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, for uh, students, sometimes they are given tasks which requires them to um, identify identify specific information and specific mm -hmm. details in within a very limited allocated time. So mm -hmm. those are some skills that need to be inculcated through uh, some practices and some uh, training together with the teachers and also and. Um, any online resources that you can find online. Okay, so today we will be learn. Uh, we will be learning uh, on how to read with a purpose. Okay. We will be taking a very short I break. I'll see you guys yeah. after this. I think money is important for us. This is because money can help us to achieve our goals. For example, we need some money to study further in university. Besides that, money can help us to solve our problem. For example, we, if we have money, we can buy some things we want. Yes, I personally think that money is important in our life. If we are in emergency, we can use the savings to handle our situation. Flat, Accident, fire is one of the example of emergency. Therefore, we should let savings money to become one of heavy for us, and so we are always prepared for a rainy day. I think money is important. Although money is not everything, but money is important for everything. Uh, we can uh, we can use money to find our happiness, such as we can buy some luxury things, such as car, houses, and wash. Furthermore, we can use money to travel everywhere we like to relax our minds. KPM DD TV KPM You guys are still watching Teras at Didik TV KPM with me, Nisa K, and our teacher here, Teacher Faiza, and my dear friends from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besar Selangor. Okay, teacher, let's yes. proceed with our lesson today. Uh, the topic is the world, the world of sport. The world right. of sport, yes. Okay. Right. okay, so we'll proceed with our lesson today. Kids, mm -hmm. if you are ready to proceed with our lesson, show me this. Double thumbs up! Yay. Okay, great. Okay, so we'll start with the first slide. Oh, sorry. Okay, this is my profile. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, so today we'll be covering on this unit three, the world of sport. Since sport is getting, um, is getting more and more is exposure. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, with the introdu introduction of esports, people are getting more and more aware of the um, all the terms, all the elements in sports. Okay, mm -hmm. so before we proceed with the lesson. Okay, so kids, we have a picture here. Okay, Nisa, as you can see, yes, we have a girl with uh, lots of a money. Girl, <laughs> yeah, holding an amount of money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so looking at that money, I can only think of buying expensive yes. dress for Bajuraya, right, Nisa? Yes. Okay, so kids, okay, 
please provide me a word okay to describe the expression of the girl holding the money mm -hmm. okay can we start with badro badro what can you see from uh, her expression mm -hmm. okay uh, what can i see is she is very excited Excited. excited. Okay, All good. Right. Excited. Everybody will definitely feel excited if they have that amount of money, right? Who won't? Uh, who I, won't? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Gigi, may I hear from you? She is blissful. Again? Again? Blissful. Blissful. Okay, blissful. great. Blissful. Okay. okay, thank you. Next, Shaza. Shaza. Uh, she very cheery. Cheery, cheery. Okay, okay, great, great. Cheery. Who won't be cheery holding that kind of money? Okay. Yes. Next, Kuno. She is very delightful. 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 She looks delightful. Mm -hmm. Great. How about you, Zahir? I think she feel cheerful. 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 Okay. So we have lots of words to describe the expression. Okay. Last but not least, Anis. Can Anis. I hear from you? Anis, Anis looks very, very focused. Mm. Yes, Anis, may I hear your word? Lucky. 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 Oh. She feels lucky. Lucky. Mm. Okay, very great. Very okay. good. Okay, so those are words that we can use to describe the expression of this girl with that money. Okay, mm. so actually, show me the money is the, um, the title of the article that we'll be covering for today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Now, if you guys have the textbook, uh, Form 5 textbook with you, okay? So, you can see on page 32 and 33, you guys will be seeing an article, a reading article, which consists of four paragraphs, paragraph A, B, C, and D. Okay, so, uh, kids, you guys have been assigned to read carefully, mm -hmm. to go through the article, and to digest everything in the article. But for today, you guys will be given allocated time to identify specific details and specific information based on the instruction given. Those are skills that we call skimming and scanning. Skimming okay. and scanning? Yes, yeah, skimming and scanning. All right. We don't do skimming and scanning when we, when we read a novel. Mm -hmm. okay. As for me, because I am not really into novel, I just go to the first page, in the middle page, and also just oh, go through the synopsis. Okay. Because I am more really into uh, comics. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... We will go to reading comprehension practice, task 3, page 33 on textbook. Yes. Okay. So, our so, friends at home, if you have your textbook with you now, yes. you can uh, turn to page 33, right, teacher? Yes. And do the activity with us. Yes. Follow us. Okay. So, these are eight information given. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, kids and people, and people at home, okay, you guys are given eight information here. And then... This is where you have to do all the skimming and scanning to go through the article, but this time you are not going to enjoy every word of the, uh, every word of the article. Mm -hmm. okay? So read carefully all the information given and try to identify which paragraph describes or can be related to each specific information. Okay, okay guys. So these people, kids, you are given about um, three minutes. Three minutes, three minutes to identify yes, three minutes the to identify. points from the paragraphs uh, assigned to you guys. Uh, we we have four paragraphs, right, teacher? Yes, A, B, C, and D. paragraphs, and uh, I believe you guys have read all the paragraphs carefully, and you have been identifying the information that needed to, to be taken out uh, yes. following the points here. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys... Are doing okay right now. Everybody's so like focused, yes. and our friends at home kindly take a, a, a very good look at your textbook now. Yes. We will be doing this together, our friends from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besar, and also our friends at home. Okay, so we have uh, the first statement is mention how much money a famous company make, as yes. how football players earn their money, mm -hmm. and we have third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. A statement there. Yes. So are you guys okay? Doing okay? Everybody's so focused. <laughs> okay, kids. We can kids? we can see the lines on their foreheads. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're trying their best to identify. Yes. The kids. Okay, kids, because we are not in class, so whenever you you can understand my instruction, mm -hmm. okay, usually the teacher will say understand, and they will respond to me by saying understood. understood. Okay, but for, for this time, if you are getting whatever I say, show me this with a little shake. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I understand. So let us try together. Three, two, one. I understand. I understand like this. And then you'll repeat to me and respond. Yes. Yes. Thank you, guys. You are doing very great. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the three minutes start from now. Use this time to identify. Okay. What what you can do is mm -hmm. now. This is what we call a skills of reading. Okay. One of the most important thing is to identify the um, keyword. For example, keyword. You don't okay. have you don't have uh, so much time mm -hmm. to read everything. Now, for example, for question number one, mentions how much money a famous company makes. Mm -hmm. So you can see the word company. Yes. So you just go through the article quickly and try to figure out which paragraph says the name of any company, any fam mm -hmm. uh, famous company. So. Most is possibly that paragraph is the paragraph that we are looking for. Yes. Okay. So, so we will know this uh, sentence referring to that paragraph. Yeah. So I can only I can only see money. Yeah. I can only see money in the in the, in the sentence. What is wrong with me? <laughs> that is the most interesting and attractive word compared to the all oh, yes. the, the words in, in life the entirely. I believe. Yes. So okay. how are our friends doing now? You guys are doing okay. <laughs> They are, oh. they are trying their best to figure out the paragraph. Okay, like this. <laughs> okay, so while, while they are um, finding all the keywords, mm -hmm. Nisa, Nisa, are you into sports? Yes, I am into sports. I play badminton mm -hmm. and I love uh, bowling. Is that, is that considered as a sport? Of course, bowling, bowling is a sport. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Badminton? Badminton. And sports? Uh, bowling. And, and bowling. Yes. Okay, good. I tried before mm -hmm. to play ping pong. Okay, ping okay. pong. Wow. Yes, ping pong. That's hard. <laughs> but I, I, I can't really figure out the rules. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very bad with rules. Definitely. Yeah. When, when the, when the coach say, uh, you stand here, you hit there, and you um, move your body like this. Yes. I, 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 How I couldn't to really get connect the dots from there. Yeah. I don't, I don't see the logic. So I just um, stand whenever I want to stand, hit the ball, and then I leave that to the, to, yes. to the dot. Okay, Definitely. Okay. okay, I guess our friends here, they are all ready with their answers. Can we proceed with the answers, teacher? Yes, you mean. Okay. okay. Let's so, go. Uh, we are going to discuss the answers now. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, are you okay? Show me this. Are you okay? Show us this. Okay, so okay. That they are all okay. So we'll move to the questions. Okay, so first question mentions how much money a famous company makes. So let mm -hmm. us see. So Which question number paragraph? one. Which paragraph actually talks about that detail? A, B, C, or D? Okay, any volunteer for this? Who wants to answer? Question, uh, Raise question. your hand, our friend. Okay, okay Gigi. Gigi. Go ahead, your answer. Uh, my answer is paragraph B. Paragraph B. Are you sure, Gigi? B for ball or D for donkey? Yes, you are sure. Okay, let us see. B. Okay, guys. Whenever you have, when it, we will check the answer together, mm -hmm. and if you give me a correct answer, okay, do this. Yes, okay, okay. and then the rest will be putting their hands together, okay, to All celebrate right. the answer. Okay, so let us see. Question number one, the answer is B. B. Correct. correct. Okay, JJ, on the count of three, three, two, one. <laughs> Great. Okay, so JJ, can you please tell me, okay. Whenever we, we are doing any reading practices, mm -hmm. okay, we have to make sure that we are able to identify which line really talks about the information given. Okay, so Gigi, which line actually mentions how much money a famous company makes? Okay, Gigi, can you please tell me which line? The last line. The last, the last line, last are you line. sure? Okay, what is the name of company uh, mentioned in the line? Nike. 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 Okay, we Which can see. Which makes Nike 25 here. billion dollars. Okay, thank you. a year. Okay, great job, Gigi. Good okay. job. Okay. Okay, next. Next, moving on to the next question. Explains how football players earn their money. As we know, Which football players, they okay. earn lots of money, right? Yes. Okay, so for this question, who likes to um, show me the answer? Anyone? Maybe I should dip a uh, football player teacher. Yeah. They earn a lot of money. Yeah, and more dresses to <laughs> no, buy. No, 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 just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> okay, anyone? Anyone? Anyone wants to answer? Okay, Kuno. Okay, Kuno. What is your answer? My answer is paragraph A. Paragraph, paragraph A. A. Okay. Okay, let's see. Lock the answer. I lock the answer. Uh, okay, so let us see. Paragraph A. A. Okay. Authentic. Okay, now. Kuno, which line really tells you the detail? Line number 10. Line number Line 10. Number okay, 10. let us see together. 
Okay, okay, the players, make, can you please read aloud the lines, Kuno? The players, the players make money through salaries and sponsorship deals. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Okay, so how do they make their money? Through salaries and sponsorship deals. deals. Okay, three, two, one, Kuno. Great. Okay, so All right. moving to the next question. They are doing great, right? Yes, they are doing great. Yeah. And we will be calling the name of student who will answer the third uh, question. But before that, we will be taking a break. I'll see you guys after this on Teras Didik TV, KPM. KPM Dide TV KPM Thank you so much for those who are still watching Teras at Didik TV KPM. We are, we are with uh, Teacher Faiza and also our friends from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besar. Okay, let's proceed with our lesson, Teacher. Okay, so as I can see that everybody here has given me correct answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see that you guys have maybe have mastered the skills required to, to fulfill this task. Okay. We we'll just go straight to the last question. Last question. Okay? All right, teacher. So last question, which paragraph states that professional should, should earn I... similar incomes? incomes. Okay, so anyone would like to share the answer for the last question? We are on our last question, which is which paragraph states that professionals should earn similar income? So who would like to try to answer this one? Okay, anyone? 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 Okay, Zahir. Zahir, Zahir. I used to call him Zahir. Zahir, okay. <laughs> Your answer, please. The answer is uh, in the paragraph D. Paragraph, paragraph D. 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 Okay, let's see D. whether you got it right. Paragraph D. Yay! Okay, well done, Zohair. Okay, Zohair, can you can you please tell me which lines you, that actually states that professionals should earn similar incomes? Which line, mm. Zohair? You can line, read the line for us. Line number nine. Line number ten. Line number ten. Can you please read aloud the lines for us? Get rid of the huge differences in income earned by different professionals. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Get rid of the huge differences in income earned, earned by, by different, different professionals. professionals. So it means that professionals, they, are, they deserve to be treated equal, yes. right, Nisa? Okay. Yes. So let's see the answer. answer. Okay, so those are the answers for every question. Okay. Now, let's go back to the learning objective. So you guys are supposed to match at least six out of eight given phrases with related paragraphs correctly. Okay, mm -hmm. let us see the correct answers. And guys, can you please show me in, uh, with your finger the scores that you got for this practice. Okay, in the count of three, three, two, one. Show me your finger, the, your scores. Okay, eight, you can everybody see eight, got eight. eight, 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 and eight. Very Zahir? good. Okay. Seven, fantastic. Eight. Oh, okay. okay, fantastic. So everybody got eight. Yeah. It means that you are able to Achieve the objective given. Okay. okay. So, congrats, guys. Congrats. Okay. So, moving to the next activity for today. Reading comprehension practice, task 4, page 33. Page 33 on textbook, guys. Okay. All so, right. now, you are given five meanings and then you will have to match the meanings given mm -hmm. to the different types of payments. As we know, the athletes, they receive so, lo uh, so much, uh, so many kinds of payments mm -hmm. okay so now kids guys need to read uh, all the meanings okay and then try to figure out any keyword that you can use to help you to identify mm -hmm. which payment fits which meaning okay one minute guys one minute one minute to, to read through. the meanings and mm -hmm. you have to decide 
which phrases fits the definition given. Okay, yes. so the first one, the definition is money that is paid to the runners-up and winners of sports event. I think I know this one, but I will let our friends answer this yeah. shortly. It's not that it's not that hard, right? Yeah, it's not that yeah. hard. We definitely can see the what is uh, meant by by the definition given. Mm -hmm. The second one is money that is paid by one team to another team mm -hmm. for a professional player. Interesting. Yeah. So if you are able to actually identify the keywords, mm -hmm. then it will won't, it won't yes. be too challenging for you guys. And yes. that is what we are trying to help you to mm. uh, to master the skills mm. of reading. Okay. Okay. Anyone ready with the answers? And uh, teacher, English yes. is not that hard actually. Yes. We can, we can always learn and do not feel shy to learn and to try to speak with your friends at home or at school. Yes. Now that we are moving to the PDPR phase, so mm -hmm. let's just speak to our friends through social media or through your WhatsApp group. <laughs> yeah, you're correct. Okay, and so everybody, uh, anybody ready with the answers? I, I think they are all ready. I think the they are. They are always ready. Yes, we can I proceed think. with the question number one, teacher. Okay, question number one. Money that is paid to the runners up and winners of sports events. Anyone? Anyone who would like to try the first? Okay, Shaza. Shaza. Okay, your Shaza. Answer? Um, my answer is price money. Price, price money. money. Okay. okay. Shaza, what is the keyword that you use to identify the correct answer? Um, price. 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 Okay, great. Why price? Because we are talking about winners. winners. Okay, okay, so that is how to relate the details given in the question and also how to identify the correct answer. Okay. okay. So the, oh sorry. So the answer is price money. Price great money. job, Shaza. Moving on to the next question. Question number two. Who question would like to try two? to answer this one? Mm -hmm. Raise your hand, my friend. Zahir. Zahir. Okay, what is your yeah. answer for this? Transfer fee. Transfer fee. Transfer fee. Okay. Zahir, what are some of the words that help you identify transfer mm -hmm. fee? Transfer. 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 Okay. Why transfer? Because we are talking about one team to another, another team. team. Okay, so let us check the answer. Correct. Transfer fee. Transfer the job. Fee. Okay, excellent, Zahir. Question number three. Number Anyone? three. Anyone? Question number three. Who wants to try this one? Number three. Oh, oh Anis. Okay. Anis. 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 Okay. Anis? Your answer, um, Anis? Sponsorship deal. Sponsorship, sponsorship deal. Deal. Okay, Anis? What makes you say that? Sponsorship deal. Because sponsor. 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 The word sponsor. Mm. I, um, sponsor. Okay, so you say sponsor because you can see wearing a company's clothing. clothing. Okay, so when it comes to sponsorship, we have to do whatever is asked by the company, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let us see the answer. Yay! Sponsorship deal. Correct. Great job. Okay. Next one, question number four. Question Money number that four. is paid to an athlete to take part in an event and make it more popular. Okay, so mm. who's into this question? Anyone? Anyone would like to try out your luck? Yes. Okay. Iskandar. Iskandar. Um, my answer is appearance fee. Appearance fee. Okay. The keyword is kinda. Keyword? Is appearance. 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 Okay. okay. Why appearance? Because the athlete just need to appear and they just to take part in the event. Okay, mm -hmm. let us see whether that is the correct answer. Yay! Very good. You got appearance it right. fee. Okay, last but not least. We have the last question, question number five. Question number Payment five. Payment for playing regularly in a team, such as a football or basketball team. Okay, to play regularly for a specific team. Who Anyone? Who would like to, to try out their luck? Okay, uh, Kuno. Kuno. Your answer is? My, my answer is salary. 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 Okay, let us check out the answer. Salary. Okay, yes. great. Okay. Good job, everybody. So everybody has mastered, uh, yes. has mastered actually the uh, mm -hmm. reading skills. Okay, looking back at the, object, uh, at the objective, match five types of payments with their correct meanings. Minutes. Okay, everybody with your fingers, show me your scores. Show me your scores. Show us your score. All get five. Okay. Congrats. Very okay. good. Okay, so it seems that everybody has unlocked 
the learning objective number two. two. Okay, great. So I think they are ready for the next lesson. Given let's go, their teacher. achievement. Okay, so let's go to the speaking activity. Okay, if before they have to use the crack their head mm. to find out the specific details and to read all the information given in a reading article. Yes. Now they have to use their understanding about the article mm -hmm. to help them to do this speaking practice. practice. Task 4, page 33 on fake textbook. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, you are given a situation, okay? Mm. So, the kids need to uh, do some kind of role play. Mm -hmm. They have to pretend to be someone else, okay? okay? So, we are, we are going to divide the kids into two roles. Okay, two so, roles. Student A is a world famous athlete who earns millions every year. Wow. How I wish I can have that, yeah. right, Nisa? And then, student B mm -hmm. is a secondary school teacher, like teacher Faiza, secondary mm -hmm. school teacher, on a more normal salary. Normal salary, okay. normal, it, Invariably indicates lower salary. Okay, mm -hmm. so student A justifies earning for more than a teacher. Need to explain why do you deserve such high income? Mm -hmm. Okay, and student B, you should justify that teaching is more important than a sport. sport. Okay. okay, so so three of them, three, three of, of them. you, three of you will will be student A, and three of you will be student B. Student A is athlete, mm -hmm. and for athlete, I would like to have by the role. Badro will be the athlete, okay. okay. Anis and Shaza okay. are the athlete, okay. Athlete. While student B, teacher, okay. I think Kuno, Kuno, are you, are you okay with this to be a teacher? Okay, great. Kuno, Zohair, and Gigi. Okay, so we have three athletes and three teachers. Three teachers. With different tasks, uh, different speaking tasks, mm -hmm. you have to argue. And, um, Please, uh, please remind that. Please be mindful that, in order to highlight your importance, it, we don't have to really downgrade any profession. Yes. Okay. Because each profession they deserve equal respect. Yes. Okay. okay. So we will be giving the students a uh, little time to get ready with their uh, conversation. So we will be coming back after this at Teras Didi TV KPM. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you after this. KPM DD TV KPM You guys are still watching Teras at Didik TV KPM. Before we go, students here, yeah. they are already with their points uh, to to converse uh, according to the situation given. Let's start, teacher. Okay, so guys, are you ready? If you are ready, show me this. Show me this. Double thumbs if up, everybody. Ready. Everyone okay. ready? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, I think I would like to hear from mm -hmm. um, Kuno. Cool. Who is our, our, our student? Eh, Kunurania. See you yes, Kunurania. I think Kunurania, you represents a teacher, right? Teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, a teacher. Okay, let's talk about teacher. So, Kuno, why do you think yes. um, your role as a teacher is more important than sports? I think my profession is more important because mm -hmm. as a teacher, yes. I can teach a uh, young generation and mm -hmm. make them realize about how much important okay. education to to get a bright future okay. mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. to introduce them about real, 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 reality, reality in facing the world uh -huh, okay so kuno how yeah. can a teacher make their students realize about the reality of the world? can you give me a specific example mm. uh, 
such as like um, everyone has uh, dreams, right? Okay, mm -hmm. dreams. So he, she, the, as a teacher, mm -hmm. she, of course, he, she or he want to want her, want her students. Students, students, yes, can achieve their dreams. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, great. So basically, uh, she has to taught him. Um, that him more and mm -hmm. more, mm -hmm. so he can understood what she what she wants to be and learn mm -hmm. okay. to be the to be the, the and to be to be to be a successful he, person in future. To, yes. to, okay, very good. Okay, okay, good okay, job. Good job, Kuno. So Kuno is right. Mm -hmm. is actually trying to say that mm -hmm. a teacher can help the students to achieve their dreams, dreams. in life. Okay, yes. good job, Kuno. Okay, Thank moving you. on to uh, someone who represents or play the roles of athlete. Okay, athlete. let us see. Let us hear some from Badro, please. Badro, you are the athlete. Okay. As the athlete. Okay, Badro, why do you think, as a um, famous athlete, why do you think you deserve such high payment, Badro? Mm. Because okay. I'm a representative for this mm -hmm. country. Okay. okay. That is my that friend is from this country. My okay. come to this country. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's okay. My friend from uh -huh. other country. Mm -hmm. My want to know about this country, okay. and they will come to this country. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, when people so come to the country, uh, Badr. Huh? So Badr, when people come to the country, who will benefit mm -hmm. from that? Uh, the country itself. Okay, yes. Good. Okay. Continue, Badro. Okay. And the second reason is, mm -hmm. I make name by starting from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to work hard in order to be re re to be to be known by others, mm -hmm. and it's not that easy because there are okay. so many rivals that also have good skills. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you, Badro. Okay. I can see that he's. Uh, the the point is, uh, athletes is uh, like a small ambassadors to the country. Yes, yeah, face of the mm. country. So if people, if they they are being um, famous, mm -hmm. okay, if they are famous, so people would like to know more about the country, and yes. then the country will benefit in a uh, from a very uh, different in a different ways. Okay. Yes. So now, let us see uh, the opinions from Zohir. Zohir. Can you hear from you, Zohir? You are a teacher. Yes. Okay, kindly proceed. Okay, Zahe. I think my profession is important because I educate young people mm -hmm. to produce the citizens of tomorrow. Okay. That will govern and develop our beloved country. Mm. Thank I you. Convey, okay. okay. I convey the useful knowledge for their future mm -hmm. use, such as uh, in a world and so on. Okay, okay. So you are educating the future generation, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here. Okay, yeah. great. Okay, uh, Miss Sai, um, can we hear another uh, yes, thoughts yes. from any athlete there? Yes. Okay, so Shaza, Shaza, would you uh, would you mind sharing with us your opinions about this matter? Why do you deserve such high payment? Um, from what from what I know, mm -hmm. as a famous. Famous footballer, okay. I work longer, like eight hours a day, mm -hmm. but teachers only work for five hours. Mm -hmm. So uh, I must get higher payment. Mm -hmm. uh, also, athlete can involve in a dangerous situation, mm -hmm. uh, like Azizul Hasni Awang that had a uh, wood get into his leg mm -hmm. on one of his competition. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So. So as an athlete, you face a uh, huge risk uh, when it comes to sports. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Then that's why you are you are um, entitled to so uh, to many kinds of payments because mm -hmm. you, the risks and challenges you face in the world of sport is very huge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think uh, Shaza mentioned just now that a teacher works only for only five days in a week. Mm -hmm. Can Gigi say something about that? Gigi. Is it true that we only work five days a week, Gigi, as a teacher? Uh, I think not. Okay. Uh, then I think, yes, because teacher doesn't work just five uh, hours a day. Mm -hmm. Because it's 
uh, if the student has an exam, uh, the teachers will mark the papers and that take so much time. Okay. Uh, and also, the teacher, when they, it takes so much time, mm -hmm. actually, it's going to make the teachers uh, more tired than to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you, Gigi. So thank you. You mean that actually athletes and um, teachers, teachers, they they have their own different roles to play, and their importance is quite different. Mm -hmm. And we they are the backbone to each other actually. Yes. Okay. So let us see the objective. We have heard the opinion. We have listened to the, some opinions mm -hmm. and their thoughts about this matter. So going back to the learning objective three, they, are, they were asked to do a role play as an athlete or a teacher and justify the payment and the importance of the profession with relevant argument. And I think yes. the kids there, they have unlocked the objective by being able to provide all the details. Okay, Yay. thank you. Everybody clap your hands. Good job, everybody. Good try. You guys are doing great so far. So we have unlocked all three learning objectives for today's lesson. What can we conclude, teacher, for today's episode? Okay, so the conclusion is, mm -hmm. um, from the article, it shows that the athletes or people in sports, people they are involved in sports, they are, they are uh, getting a lot of payment. Mm -hmm. And some people might question that, but yes. based on their description and based on their argument just now, you can see that actually athletes and teachers, they deserve equal respect, okay, and um, the world needs um, generous, hardworking athletes, mm. dedicated teachers, and superb young generations to yes. make the world a better place. All right. Thank you, Teacher Faiza, and thank you, my friends from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besa. I hope you guys at home also have been learning something from today's lesson. Maybe Teacher can give us uh, some last words and okay. everybody. <laughs> okay. So. What I can say uh, is for all students who are watching this, okay. So, in learning English, what can be the what can be the greatest obstacle is the fear itself. Yes. Okay. So as you can see, when the students are when the students know which skills to handle, which tricks to tackle, English won't be that hard. Okay. Mm -hmm. What matters the most is you are you should be able to. Um, um, Overcome your fear from yes. day to day and you will end up being a very professional English. We are now at the end of our episode. Thank you so much for everybody who are watching us. Yeah. Now, we will be leaving you guys with a special performance also from our students. Mm -hmm. uh, the song is Standing in the Eyes. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Hopes and dreams that will not come true, and all them left behind, now they will leave in you. Everyone wants the same, just a day in the sun. Sometimes there is only room for one. Has ever been so near? Now the challenge is suddenly here. TV.
KPM.